what does data definition language mean those are commands to define the database schema so basically you are going to define because data definition language so hence define so hence these commands will define the database schema database schema as in tables and all you're going to create tables or drop tables or all you know define uh, those structures da database schemas you will create or modify the structure of database objects in the db and database objects means tables views and all of that we are going to create them or modify them the structure of database objects so there are five D ddl commands uh, so the, uh, those are create drop alter truncate rename let's see one by one so the first one is create so we are creating a table we are creating a db object so we are creating a table create table employees and whatever columns you want to add employee id name and their data type so this is how we are creating a table then if you want to drop the table then we have drop table employees then if you want to alter the table so if you want to add a column or if you want to um, you know change the data type of a particular column so alter the table because you are changing the columns columns in the table so basically you are changing the uh, structure of the database you are defining it again so that is alter then we have truncate table employees so what does truncate do truncate will remove all the all the rows now you will ask me how is truncate a ddl because it is not defining the structure it is just removing the rows no it is not just removing the rows it is deallocating the space allocated to to those rows and hence hence it it is changing the storage definition so here it is changing the storage definition in case of truncate it is changing the storage definition hence it is in ddl okay and our fifth command is or uh, rename as i said rename so what is the command for rename alter table employees whatever the name of the table is rename to students so i'm changing the table name from employees to students he, uh, hence we are redefining it and hence uh, redefining the name of the table and hence it is a ddl command there are two ways how you can write a rename rename command so one is this one and the other is simply write rename employees to students so there are certain things which uh, you should remember or should keep at the back of your mind so one thing is in ddl commands you will always have the word table in it so create table drop table alter table truncate table alter table so and in case of dml or any other like insert queries or delete queries or something there we do not write the word table okay so in this case as we are defining a structure so we write uh, sorry we are defining the structure of a database object so we write the object name like create table drop table and all also one more thing we need to keep keep in our mind is there is no where in these commands okay uh, so uh, you, you you all must have seen the query for insert uh, insert or update you always write where update this 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 set this to this where something is equal to something but in data definition we do not use where in it tcl is used to give privileges basically permissions to users uh, in a db okay we need to perform any operation in db and by operation i mean uh, when you want to create a table or if you want to update a table or do any alter statements or anything of that sort if you want to perform any operation a user needs privileges not any user can uh, do anything otherwise uh, any user will drop any particular table um, even even though he does not have the right to we give privileges we give permissions to a particular user as to what that particular user can do two commands one is grant the other is revoke grant means where we give a particular permission that this user is allowed to do this 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 and revoke is basically to take back that permission this user cannot uh, do that this is particular operation so we revoke we take the permission back which was already given to given to the user okay so let's uh, let's see some examples of grant and revoke so uh, first is grant create session to username uh, grant means it uh, the permission is uh, is uh, is to be given w what is the operation name create session so basically the user user can create sessions and it is given to to what to a username to a user so here the username of the particular user will be uh, written over so a username can be anything w uh, okay so grant create session to username so in grant 
we have grant whatever the operation name is this and then to whatever the username second is grant create table to was uh, xyz username whatever x is suppose here we have written xyz so the xyz user is allowed to create tables in the db okay so that way we are giving it permission third is grant sys dba to use uh, to username now what is sys dba sys dba means all the privileges now you want to uh, give uh, give a user all the privileges like that particular user can create drop can do anything so instead of writing um, one one operation mm -hmm. we can use the word sysdba okay uh, now revoke now we have to take the permission back the privilege back so revoke create table from whichever uh, particular username in case of grant we have grant so and so to so and so username revoke uh, so and so from so and so username now if you want to grant grant drop any table to username so basically you can you can drop any table uh, this particular user can drop any table okay that is the privilege given to that particular user so in short grant privilege name whatever privilege whatever operation it can perform that on whatever object name on means what uh, if you want to specify a particular table name so we use on to particular username okay that is for grant and for revoke the same thing instead of to we have from over here so revoke whatever privilege privilege name on whatever object name from so and so username okay so let's see two examples so one is grant all all means we are providing all the privileges all the privileges on on what on a particular object which is students so basically we can say that students is a table so grant all on tables on student students table to mno mno is particular username mno can grant all the operations on table students similarly revoke now revoke update on students from mno so the update uh, the privilege of updating uh, on table students is taken away from the user mno i hope it is clear dml is basically data manipulation language so what does that mean? manipulating the data present in the data uh, in the db in the database so manipulation of data present in the db is done by dml commands the data which is present that, that is the rows we are going to manipulate we are going to update any value in the row or delete that particular row or insert a particular row we are playing with data over here and hence it is data manipulation language so there are three commands in it insert update and delete so let's see the three of them so one is insert into employees the name name of the table insert into employees whatever column name these are the column names values and whatever value you want to insert one and whatever name and then second one is update you are updating a value a value in a particular row you are changing the value in a particular row that is update so update employees that this is the table name set name is equal to whatever where id is equal to one third is delete command so here we are deleting a particular row delete from employees where id is equal to one so there are few things which you which you should remember in dml so one thing is that you never write the word table as we used to write in ddl commands like create table this and this or drop table this and this the word table is used in it so, like this create table drop table but in dml we do not use the word table simply we write insert into employees update employees delete from employees whatever and the second thing is we can use where in these uh, in these options whereas in ddl you cannot use use where okay but in this in these cases we can use where we cannot use where in insert but definitely in update and delete we can use where so this is uh, what dml is okay so data query language so basically it is used to fetch data from db so data query language basically about queries so any particular query where we are fetching values from the db that is where dql comes into picture so we only have one command in dql and that is select 
and we all know what select is select staff from employees where age is greater than 40 or whatever these commands these commands are used to manage transactions in a db so by transactions uh, i mean uh, wherever the data in a table is being changed so for example if it is a banking system money is going to be debited from uh, one place and going to be credited in one place so that is known as a transaction and during this transaction one place the money needs to be uh, you know subtracted and one place it needs to be added and in this case you cannot uh, miss any one of the two so you cannot just uh, subtract money from one one place and don't add it on the other place this will this will cause problem so hence we use TCL transaction control language which will ensure that whatever uh, whatever calculations are being done they are either committed or uh, in case of any failure they are rolled back rolled back okay so they are used to manage transactions in a db so to manage changes made to data in a table by dml statements now what are dml statements data manipulation language means insert delete update and all so whenever we are changing any value in the table so these changes uh, are to be managed and those are managed by tc uh, these dml commands they are not committed they are not auto committed you have to commit it okay and you can uh, so whenever you change a particular value in a table it can be rolled back you can that means you can go back to the old value and that is where uh, these commands come into picture when you'll see an example you'll understand it better we have three commands commit save point roll back okay so let's see one by one so the first one is commit to permanently save a transaction so you just have to simply write commit semicolon so whatever uh, changes you made in the db whatever dml uh, dml uh, uh, statement you use like Changes made by insert, delete, update are not permanent. So insert, delete, update are what? DML. So whenever you insert a value or delete a value or update a value, these changes are not permanent until you use the command commit. Okay, so they are not permanent. So that is where commit is being used. Now second is save point. Now what does save point mean? So they are used to temporarily save a transaction so that you can roll back to that point. In your code, you are changing some, some values and you want to make a save point so that after that, if, if you make any mistakes or if uh, you made some changes, but you want to roll back to that particular save point. If you want to uh, go back and uh, change the values, uh, what they were before the save point. So we can use save point and roll back together. So to temporarily save a transaction. Okay, so we, we are basically giving it a name. Save point this, this. Okay, now the third is rollback. Now rollback can restore the DB. Uh, so it, uh, it is used in two ways. First is to restore the DB to the last committed state. So when you simply write rollback, it, if, you make, if you made any changes, it will roll back to, to a previously committed state. So whenever wherever it was committed, you will get the old values back. Now, second way is also used with save point. Now, in this, suppose uh, there is some save point, uh, say save point one, and when you write rollback to save point one, it will go back to that position and it will get those values back. Okay, so we are not using commit, but temporarily we are using save point and rollback. With this, we come to the end of the video, and here is the big news after the successful launch of our first ebook crack any sequel interview i have my second book ready which is switch your career easily so if you're someone who is looking to switch their career to a completely different field or even if you want to stay in the same field but you want to move to a different company or you want to get promoted or anything of that sort i have shared all the tips and tricks that you would need in order to do so Trust me, this video is very helpful, very much helpful. I am flooded with amazing feedback all over my inbox and my comment section. So do check it out. The link is in the, in the description box. And if you like it, do purchase it. It will be a very good investment in your career path. With this, I will end the video. And thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you. Take care.